The plan to build a new provincial hospital for NCD was to offload some burdens faced by the Port Mosby General Hospital. Dr. Yeni says the proposal is still being discussed among stakeholders concerned. The news for the new Garo General Hospital is already underway. There will be a new Garo Provincial Hospital to be built uh, at Tete. Uh, the discussion of progress uh, of the facility that hospital is, is already on board. My management has taken on board to form a steering committee and and to work with the you know the relevant you know central agencies to make sure how do we formalize the progress of the discussion for this new hospital that's going to come. The NCDPHA is considering options to solder some of the responsibilities from Port Mosby General Hospital while discussions are ongoing for a new provincial hospital. Dr. Yeni says one option is to upgrade the Gero General Hospital to become a fully fledged provincial hospital. Provincial hospital capacity for NCD PHA would be Gero Provincial Hospital. Uh, we have National Health Service Standards uh, that looks at the level of hospital, uh, lower level facility up to a provincial hospital. So Gero, by way of the National Health Service Standards, is still a default level for hospital. It's not a fully fledged provincial hospital. So the plan are in place to be able to look at how do we do facility upgrade maintenance so that the Gero Provincial Hospital can take on the responsibility of de delivering all the functionality role of a provincial hospital. So you will see that there is no operating theater, there is no labor board, but there are plans in place now to put in those infrastructure. The Division of Curative Health Services will carry out a service plan that looks at facility gaps, manpower and other issues lacking at the Gero General Hospital. Uh, the service gap here is a big challenge for us. So what we need to do immediately now that the Division of Curative Health Services will take on what they call a service plan, not clinical service. It's all health audit that you do all the facility, looking at facility gaps, manpower, equipment, all those things will be done. Dr. Yeni was sworn into office for a four-year term yesterday. Makayo Kanbishi, National News, Port Mosby.